Alpha. Hi, welcome back to Alpha Insights. My name is Heath McKinley. I'm a digital imaging product specialist for Sony Australia. And in this video today, we're gonna to talk about five things you need to know about the brand new FX6 camcorder. Okay, the first cab off the rank is the recording format. Now the FX6 records in a .MXF format, as opposed to the uh, Alpha 7 series cameras, which record into a .MP4 format. Um, the big difference there is that if you take an MXF file onto your home PC or laptop, uh, you won't be able to play that back natively uh, on, the desk on the desktop. You will need to take that file through a post-production workflow uh, in order to be able to play that file back. Uh, the reason for this is that MXF is a much more professional grade format of uh, wrapper. It's used by all of Sony's professional grade XD cam camcorders. And that's why it's also being offered now in the FX6 as well. One of the great things about the MXF format is that metadata is written into every frame of the footage, not just attached as a sidebar XML file, which you'll find in other camcorders. Now there is one way to be able to view those .mxf files on the computer without having to go through post-production, and that's using Sony's own Catalyst Browse software. So Catalyst Browse is a free download for both Mac and PC, and within the, the program itself, you are able to not only see the files, but also play them back uh, you can also take advantage of the metadata information in those files. Uh, you can see things like ISO, white balance, shutter speed or angle, and aperture that was set as well, as well as a host of other information about the files as well. So I encourage people to take advantage of the free download of Catalyst Browse. And like I said, it's available for both Mac and PC. Okay, the next thing you need to know about the camera is DB gain and ISO. Now the FX6 has the ability to display either DB gain or ISO um, for the sensitivity that is being recorded. Now, if you're coming from a photographic background, you'll be used to working with ISO values. If you're coming from a video centric background, you may be used to using DB gain. Uh, for all intents and purposes, it's doing the same thing to the camera. It's just how you're monitoring it. So increasing 6 DB of gain is equal to increasing one stop of ISO. So that's up to you as the user to choose which format works best for you. Just to know that both formats are available in camera. In case you come across one and you're not quite sure what it means, uh, you can switch it back out for the one that you're most comfortable with. Okay, so third on our list is shutter angle and shutter speed. Uh, once again, people who are coming from a photographic background will be used to working with shutter speeds. Quite often you have the camera set to one over 50, for shooting with video, especially if you're in say 25 uh, frames per second. Now, uh, if you have shutter angle, you may be used to working with a, a more of a cinematic background. You'll be working at 180 degrees shutter, which will give you the equivalent of a one over 50. So in the FX6, you have the choice of using either shutter angle or shutter speed. Once again, that's up to you as the user to find out which one works best for you. Personally, I like to have the camera set to shutter angle uh, because that is just a 180 degree rule. Whenever you change your frames per second, the camera will automatically adjust the uh, shutter angle to be the right um, setting for that frame rate. Whereas in shutter speed, you can get caught out having the wrong shutter speed for the frame rate that you are using. So once again, we both have both shutter angle and shutter speed available to the user, and that's selectable to be displayed as how you would like that to be. Okay, number four on our list is waveforms versus histograms. Now we have both available in the FX6. You have the waveform or a histogram that can be displayed on the screen. Um, waveforms is something that a lot of people who work in video uh, highly recommend using. It's much more detailed than the histogram on its own. Now, for people who are coming from a photographic background, once again, you're maybe used to working with a histogram where you have your darks on the left-hand side, your lights on the right-hand side. Uh, with the waveform though, what you're gonna find is that's all flipped onto its side. So you have the darks at the bottom and the highlights at the top. Um, you'll be able to actually see whereabouts in the frame certain highlights or, or low lights may be. Uh, it's a much more complex but um, expanded way of monitoring your exposure 
and it's something that I highly recommend having on display at all times. So uh, we have both waveforms and histograms though. So if you prefer to work in histogram because that's what you've been used to using in the past, that is available for you as well. Okay, lucky last on the list, number five is dual base ISO. So this is something that's gonna be new to people who have never shot with cinema cameras before. Um, and for anyone who's moving up from a, an Alpha 7 series camera, um, the dual base ISO is something that's very unique, but um, an absolutely very useful tool. So what happens is you have a low base ISO on the FX6 of ISO 800, and we have a high sensitivity mode the second uh, value of 12,800 ISO. What that means is that if you're shooting and you have as many lights on as possible, uh, you opens your aperture as wide as you can, uh, you're at the correct shutter speed for your frames per second. So there's no more way to get any more additional uh, light onto your subject. Uh, what you can do is go to your higher sensitivity mode of 12,800. You're gonna get the uh, extra sensitivity on the sensor. The image is gonna appear much brighter. So you can get your correct exposure, but more importantly, you're not affecting the dynamic range of the sensor, and you're also not increasing the, the noise value as you would be on um, a, another type of camera. So normally when you're coming up, say six stops of light like that, you're gonna be adding in a lot more noise, but by going from 800 to 12,800 um, into the higher sensitivity mode, what you're doing is you're increasing the sensitivity of the sensor, but you're not affecting dynamic range or the noise. So that was my five things you need to know about the FX6. I hope you found that information useful, um, especially for those of you who are thinking of moving up from one of the ILC cameras like the Alpha 7 III or even the Alpha 7 S III. Um, moving onto these cinema style cameras do have a, a few learning curves and I know that you know some of the terminology that's used in cinema cameras is a lot different from those uh, used in the hybrid cameras. So. Uh, if you found it useful, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.